And the female officer popped the trunk. It was a suitcase back there. Still don't know what's in the suitcase. The motherfucker clicked the suitcase and I heard her say, Ah! I said, this don't came on the money. <laughs>
Tommy Ford. Okay, okay. Tommy Ford. <laughs> like, yeah, this, like, this nigga hanging with Tommy Hill, figure? Yeah. God damn. Uh, this nigga's doing a lot. Davis. Rest in peace to my man, Tommy. <laughs> oh, this no nigga no. thought I was talking about I was hanging with Tommy Davidson. Ah. No. Okay, that's a whole nother Tom, story. Tommy Ford. Okay. The one that ain't got no jaw. Tommy I mean, Ford. Now, let me tell you, I don't know if... I remember this night. Now, it was a couple of nights. I got wild on the second night. The first night, I got too drunk to get wild. And they had a security guard with us. She was buffed in a buff. I don't know if you remember this female. Yes. She was a white female. She was a German chick. She was muscular as fuck. Nigga, I remember get, I drunk. I was drinking just everything. It was free. Everything, I'm just drinking the shit. And I remember the security guard carried me out, nigga, like this. Nigga, she, <laughs> I remember that. She had me like I this, remember nigga, that. And I was in her, I was in her arms, nigga. I was in her arms just, just comfortable. And she set me down that motherfucker gently, gently in the I was like, but do you do you remember what what you were saying when she was carrying? I do not remember. He was like, I, do not I am drunk. I'm lit. <laughs> I'm drunk. I am drunk. I'm, I wish I could see. That's picture. how you gotta talk when you're over there. They, they slang, but they proper. So he was with him. He was like, I am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lit, man. But I had a I had a real good time. Got a chance. Oh, we had a ball. Hey, bro. I had so I've seen I had seen you perform prior to that on Comic View. And I'd never seen you live, but to me, everybody on that show is like vets to me. You know what I mean? You guys have been doing it a lot longer than me, and everybody was seasoned. That's what I remember. I was like, man, it's a funny group of dudes. Laugh, right. love. Laugh, love. Um, it was just a funny group of dudes, and I remember being like, wow. I don't even care about winning this. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was that kind of thing. It was one of those, it was like, I, as long as I have a good, great performance, and it airs well. Right. I, I, I do well. You know right. what I mean. It didn't. I didn't have to win it all. Right. But you end up advancing to the finals. Yes, I did. Okay. Walk me through that. Woo. Okay. Doing the finals, and it was kind of crazy because. Uh, do you remember what part of Germany we were in? Stuttgart was it Stuttgart? That was the second spot. That was the second spot. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Kaiser Slaughter. Kaiser Slough. Kaiser Slough, yeah. And I listen, oh, if you haven't been to Germany, people, you got to go. I'm, I'm going to get back to the story. Yeah. But, it, like I said, they talked proper, and it was a, I guess, white girl, but I guess she had hung around some black folks. Mm -hmm. And I, we did something on the bus, and she said, panic, panic, but she didn't panic. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on the bus be like, this motherfucker said panic, panic, and we looking like, what the fuck? Why why you ain't panicking? But she was like, oh. And we was like, okay, that's some over here shit. Right? <laughs> that's some over here shit. Cause when a motherfucker panic, they panic. panic. They don't say panic. And I was like, oh, it's different over here. It's different. Y'all got there a day early. Y'all did some slick shit with y'all tickets too. And I don't oh, know. I can go and talk about it. Now. Okay, good. Because I didn't know what it was, and I still do not know to this day. But y'all did some slick shit with them tickets before you, we got over there. What did y'all do? It was and it was me, K Dub, and Big Sean. Right on. No, Big Sean, he didn't want to participate. No, I take it back. It was me, Big Sean, Lab Love. The flight was oversold. They say anybody want to stay back, we'll give you a thousand dollar voucher, put you on another plane. You can go over there. But the plane didn't actually go to Oz. What's the place? Kaiserslautern. That. It went to Stuttgart, which was probably maybe an hour, hour and a half. Right. So we said, fuck that. A thousand dollars? Right. Laugh Love got on the plane and I think he told on that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just so you and Sean balled down the Me, Sean, and K Dub caught that other flight with that thousand dollars in our pocket. And they had to come get our ass from Stuttgart. Oh, damn, bro. Now, that was in 2008. You can't blame me for that shit now. Now, you got to keep in mind, I'm a new comic. $1,000 to me is $45,000. Hey, $1,000 is $1,000. $45,000 is what you... If a new comic, you're giving me 1000 Hey. I think 
who's got jokes paid us a whopping zero dollars. Hey, and that's what I'm saying. I think a whopping zero dollars. You know, they paid for the flight. They paid for the hotel room, but uh, they never said anything about putting something in our pocket. And when they said we'll give you a thousand dollar voucher, it was a no brainer. Yes, you got to take that. I mean, hey, shit. I don't know if you got a chance to do this. It's a blessing. T. That's what I looked at it as a blessing. I went to that red light district. Mm. I don't know oh, if you got a chance to go there, but I, I went. Know. Oh, I went. I had to go. I got away from y'all. Y'all didn't know I went, but I went. Oh, I know you went. Yeah, you knew. Yeah. You knew I, I was going to go. I know you went. I was going to go. I had to go. I had to go see what was going so on down there. Is it like they say it is? It's, it's better. It's better than what they say it is. Really? Yes. Especially if you go by yourself. Okay. Because I didn't want y'all to judge me. I didn't know if y'all would judge me. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, they're going to be like, this nigga, what are you doing? I'm like, let me just go and go by myself, experience it, so I can go back and tell them if I decide to tell them, right. you know what's going on, but let me but, go by myself. But help, 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 help me. Yes. Now, they say the red light district, you can kind of walk down the street, and it's women in the window. Like mannequins in the United <laughs> States. Yes. But yes. they're real women. Real titties, real ass. Yes. And I walked in. I was so new to it. It's a whole street full of brothels. I got on the street. The first brothel I saw, I walked in. I didn't get a chance. To, I didn't try to view shit. I didn't try to window shop. I didn't right. try to. I just saw. I was like, "This is it. This is why I need to be right here." Right. I went in there and I spent. I think I spent seventy five dollars. Okay. And I was in that motherfucker bargaining my ass off. Do you hear me? Seventy five is good. I'm in there talking. I, I, you got to give me three. I mean, I can't have two women for that. That's ridiculous. You gotta give me two. No, 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 two. No, no come on, man. I'm, I, I do this. I do what niggas always do. I'm gonna be coming back regularly. Yeah, uh, like, uh, this ain't gonna be. I'm gonna be coming back. Right. I'll be back. I'm coming back. Don't, don't act like that. Don't, don't. And I got their money. I, it's something about having foreign money in your hand. You do not respect it. And I don't know what the exchange was, but I think you never know. The American dollar was a little more. You don't know them the people's the exchange dollar rate. Right. Yeah, it was more. I, I'm in there. I stayed in there. So really you spent like $40. Ten American years. money. And I was still trying to bargain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, come on now, 38. Come on now, 38. Yeah. Let me do it for 38. And I stayed in there. Let me tell you how I stayed up in there like literally about an hour and a half prior to showtime. Woo. Yeah, I was in there. Because when I realized, I said, oh shit, that's a whole block of this shit. Right. Let me get you about it here. And I went back, I went to one more, the one right next door. I didn't, again, didn't do a whole lot of scouting. Yeah, just didn't do a lot of vetting. Right next door. Right in there. Got straight to it and went back to the show. And I'm smiling the whole time. I'm like, motherfucker, I won who got, who got jokes. I already won. <laughs> I, I, I've won who's got jokes. Why y'all even performing? I think I remember that night because you was real happy. Oh, when my God. <laughs> I was excited. Like, I was so excited. I'm like, hey, why you so happy we ain't even performed yet? <laughs> I, ha I won, ladies and gentlemen. Have you have you never heard? I, I'm the winner. I won, ladies and gentlemen. If you're still watching this, and I know you are, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell that's in the corner. You gotta do that. You gotta know when I'm going live and doing my thing. I'm here with my brother, the Keys, Atlanta Zone. ATL Shawty. Born and raised in Atlanta. Yes, sir. Born and raised. What area? Let me tell you, Swats. Well, some people say uh, West Side, but I mean, you know, all of it was kind of together. You know, uh, came up. You know, bad them motherfuckers, just like pretty much a whole lot of people, you know, came up scheming and shit. I really came up hustling. A job to me was some foreign shit. Okay. So I think that's really kind of how I Now, when you I say hustle, that. I've had several hustles. And well, it make you well, feel comfortable. Well, okay, let me say. Okay. When I was young, I, my first hustle was taking the people groceries to the car or putting them in the car from the grocery store. Okay. That was my first hustle. That's illegal. That's a good... Christian like hustle. Oh, well, all the uh, hustles were legal up until I got maybe 19 and I got 10 pounds of weed. Yeah. And I say, well, wait a minute, my money gonna be a little different. Right, yeah, don't give me the Christian hustles. We no. don't want none of the Christian hustles. We don't hustles. want the Christian hustles. No, no, give us, give us. So you was you were doing, what type of scheme are you doing? Uh, okay, um, before I even started doing comedy, Shawty Shawty, comedian. Right, yeah, Shawty. I was selling weed to Shawty. And when Shawty seen me doing comedy, he said, oh, what the hell is Kingpin trying to tell some jokes for? And I was like, <laughs> he Shawty, don't put my business out there in the street like that. 
But he was like, what the fuck you trying to tell some jokes for? I know, you know, shit. Because, I mean, I, I had, you know, I had a little something, you know. Under the radar. You ain't Nino Brown, but you... you no, I wasn't Nino Brown. You dope boy but, fresh. But under the, under the radar, I might maybe move about 20 of them things a week. We talking about pounds? Yeah. We talking about crack or we talking about... No, we talking about marijuana, weed. Pounds. Marijuana. Yeah. Now, give me a street value at the time of what we dealing with. with 800. With, 800 a pound. 800 a pound. And you doing 10. I was doing 10. I think I was hooked up with this girl from Texas. And she was getting them to me for five. Are you selling them whole or you breaking them down? Ah, shit. I was trying to get rid of all the motherfuckers whole. Sometimes I break them down, but shit, I was trying to get, get rid of all the motherfuckers. Why are you fucking with comedy? Get out of our face. Go over there and be a Pablo Escobar like you are. But, no. We talking about stories. This the crazy shit. Going to the fucking strip club, I get pulled over with a hundred and some thousand dollars in the trunk. Holy, I heard the girl scream when they lifted up the trunk. I thought she had came on all the money. Hold on, back up. I need you to back up. I got to back up, Teague. I got to back up. We got to back this thing up. Yeah. Where you going with this dope and where you get it from? Ladies and gentlemen, I had to break the action for some important information. God damn it, D-Lay is back. Yeah, T, we back on the road, T. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't heard, I got the last leg tour. Yeah, you see what I mean? Last leg, the Achilles is fucked off. Go to my website, itsdelay.com for all the tour dates. Vegas is coming up, Atlanta's coming up, Alabama's coming up, everybody's coming up. People will go there. In the meantime, I still got gear, people. Yes, I got the hoodies to come get this nigga hoodie. Special alert, T, did nobody in the building know this when I'm about to announce. What? Uncut breaking news right now. My audio book, Delay the Journey Behind a Smile, is complete and is on my website right now. If you take your ass over there, run, run, run. Go right there, right? Click, click, and it come right back. You'll catch the remainder of this show. In the meantime, people go to my website. It's delay.com. And keep watching. I got that audio book. $19.99. I want every nickel that I'm due because you know I'm deserving of it. I really am. I appreciate you guys. I love y'all. Keep rocking out. Back to the story. No, 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 not. I didn't have you no have marijuana. Get the cash. Just money. Okay, you got the cash on you. Yeah. Okay, you going to buy? You going to? We going to the strip club. How much money you got on you again? <laughs> About 120. Why, why are you going to these white folks strip club with that much money? Uh, first of all, let me tell you something. That's why these guys talking about making it rain. I do. Man, I was doing this shit way back when. Give me the year. This shit was popular. Give me the year we doing this. 2002. You want you got a hundred racks in a club. What strip club you in? I wasn't even in the club. We didn't make it to the club. That's what I'm telling. But you, you headed there. We headed there. You gonna blow that whole hundred? No, no, no. no. What you gonna do in there? What was the plan? The plan probably was blow three. Three. Okay. Yeah. But blow you gonna, three. But you finna stunt with a hundred. I'm stunned with a hundred. Gotcha. And we get pull up on a roadblock. And uh. You know, we're in, we're in this young guys in this nice ass car. So of course the police nitpicking and shit. And my partner move, and the motherfucker hollered, he got a gun, and they snatched all our ass out the car. We like, hey, we ain't got no motherfucking gun. And they say we gonna search the car. And when they searched the car, I said fuck, cause I knew once they popped that trunk, and the female officer popped the trunk. It was a suitcase back there. Still don't know what's in the suitcase. The motherfucker clicked the suitcase and I heard her say, Ah! I said, this don't came on the money. <laughs> she got the money. Motherfucker got 120 racks from me. But this is the crazy thing. Once they took the money, it ain't no charge for money. Ain't no charge for money. So we went to jail and got out basically the next motherfucking day. I go to property to go pick the money up. They say, oh, we got it. But now you got to prove to us where you got it from. I'm like, what kind of shit is this? It was my motherfucking money. And they like, look, motherfucker. Prove to us where you got it from. 120,000 U.S. dope dollars. Dope dollars. <laughs> 
And you know good and goddamn well. You don't have no proof of this. I ain't got no receipts. I ain't got shit. So, this the system. The lawyers are crooked. Not all of them, but they know some shit. One lawyer say, hey, man, i get your money back. No problem. Give me 50%. I say, damn, if that's so. Shit, I build a bridge around this motherfucker before I put some money in your pocket. He so, wants 50%. Give me 60 racks. And just then, to get the money to back. To get your money back. To get the money back. So I said, fuck it. I left it with the state. What? Hey! That's what made me start doing comedy. Because I say, how in the fuck am I going to goddamn come back up with 120 racks working somebody's job? I said, God damn it, I got to laugh about this shit. Else I'm going to goddamn Wait it. a minute. Yes. This money may not be lost. What year did you lose this money? 2003. It's not over. That's 18 years ago. It's not over. That money grown in the motherfucker now. That money can vote. That money can goddamn that vote. Can yeah. Vote now. Matter of fact, if you add interest on that shit, it's way that more than 120. If you add interest to the age, that motherfucker could buy alcohol. <laughs> but we got to get that money back. We're going to have to get that money back. Well, I'm just, I'm, 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 if you didn't lose a gambling like the casino guy, that money out there. Oh. And that money got your name on it. Well, no, it ain't got my name on it. I'm oh, telling you, they, they don't they don't did something with that. They don't build the dog park or something. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit is gone. 120. One fucking 20. Okay. This is on everything I love. Okay. I got people that can back the story up. I mean, I ain't gotta sit up here and tell no bullshit. That's why I started doing comedy, because I say, man, you know what? This shit right here. And it might have been, let me see. I said 2003, could have been like 99. I mean. Hey, man, you just made me think about something. My cousin, I sold dope for a day. One goddamn day. I ain't had the patience for that fucking stressful Hold ass on, job. when you say dope, we crack. 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 Okay. For one motherfucking day. That's all the time I had for that. I ain't got no patience for this, bro. I guess it's a lot going on. All these motherfucking cars pulling up. I don't know who trying to rob me, who trying to buy some shit, who trying to just scope out. I don't know what's going on. Right. I don't know who undercover. I'm, I'm peeing. I don't know shit. I'm, you, you, you was on the wrong end. Huh? Way, way on the wrong end. Let me tell you something. And the dope game is like this right here. The larger the amount, the better. Now, I'm still in the game. Okay. I know guys buying keys, and I know some selling keys. So you both, you double, you double, you double dust. You I'm the middle man. Him. Okay. I know this guy over here selling. I know this guy over here buying. I would make two thousand dollars just by being the middle man. One guy buying, one by selling. I seen so much dope in front of me, I was paranoid. I don't seen three. You talking crack? Three keys. A cocaine, and I'm getting a thousand. Understand what I'm saying? He buying three. He's selling three. Bartender. So the one that's selling three gonna give me a thousand a piece. That's three. The one who buying. So I'm gonna make six thousand dollars just by hooking these dudes up. But I'm so motherfucking paranoid because I'm looking at if if anybody. Was to see us with all this dope. I'm gone. And they, listen, the crazy, this is the funny shit. This is the funny shit. I know him. I know him. They don't know each other. Right. But I'm the motherfucking now sweating, nervous, and they like, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? And right. I'm like, I just ain't never seen all this shit before. I don't say a lot of weed, but I ain't never seen this shit right here. Uh, and they like, motherfucker, calm down. So they looking around, they like, nigga, hell. I'm like, look, trust me, I'm just paranoid. They like niggas smoke something. <laughs> Cause I have never seen you got all When the dope dealers tell you you need to smoke something, nigga, you're fucking up our almost transaction. Delay, I want you to understand the level <laughs> of what I'm talking about. I seen money stacked this high with dope stacked this high. And I'm just like, this is a lot of time. That's all I'm looking at. Right. I ain't looking at the amount of money. I ain't looking at the amount of dope. I'm just like, ooh, this is a lot of time. <laughs> and I mean, I was paranoid. And they was like, calm the fuck down. And I'm like, y'all used to this, I'm not. 
Yeah, you feel like nigga. This now, I, I, I can handle pounds of weed, but we talking about cocaine now. It's different. We talking about cocaine. Yeah, we talking about cocaine, talking man. Cocaine. We're talking about cocaine. Oh, That's why, like I said, bro, I did one day. I got scared out of this shit, but my cousin kept going. He locked up now. His name is Don. Call him Don. And he was, he worked his way up. He probably was about, probably about a half a million type of cat. Okay. Now, this is in a small town. A half a million is a lot. If you work your way up to about a half a million. Right. Well, anyway, we're all in, I don't know it's a dope house. Cause everybody, it be kids in that shit. I don't know it's a damn dope house. We just, we just be in there. I'm going in, I'm visiting them. I don't know it's a dope house. I just think it's a regular motherfucker house. People be cooking and shit, playing cards, <laughs> gambling. I don't know it's dope in this motherfucker. Right. I'm just thinking, and I'm a teenager. I'm thinking right. this is a normal, right. normal house. Motherfucker household, you know what I mean? We'll be, we, we chilling. <laughs> you know, one day, the police, whoop, whoop, whoop. And it was like a, a small, like a culture sack. It was like a small... You know those little those apartment complexes was just one way in, one way out. Right. Police came in. I remember sitting on the couch. And the guy was sitting on the couch. And I was like, God damn, the police rolled up on somebody. I mean, they deep too. It's like eight carloads of them motherfuckers. And they started getting out, coming out of the way. And I was like, ooh, there's somebody in this building. There's somebody right in this building. And them motherfuckers came straight to the door. <laughs> the door how, old, how, how old were you? I'm about 14. <laughs> I'm about 14. They come straight in the door. And I'm like, Oh, they got the wrong house. <laughs> this is fucked up. I know we got to sue the shit out of them, y'all. Everybody get out. Listen to them. Get on down. And they go in there. It was like, we know the dope is in the house. I was like, dope? Yeah. Oh, you motherfuckers going to jail for this. Right. The police going to jail for this. <laughs> Nigga, ain't no way y'all getting out of this. Yeah. Man, they was like, Dun Tour. Where his name, real name is Dun Tour. Dun Tour. Where's the dope? And I'm looking down like, nigga, there's kids in here. Ain't no way you got dope up in here. He was like, I don't have nothing. So they went to the toilet and they found something. He was trying to flush and they found something, something in the toilet. So it's like eight police officers in there. They tearing this motherfucking apartment up. They fucking it up like we pissed them off. Like right. we asked them to come in here and search and they didn't want to search. That's how they tear this motherfucker down. Okay. <laughs> and they going through there in the closet, they taking out shit in the closet, they throwing shit around, they grab the duffel bag out the closet, throwing shit, tearing shit up. Okay. They take Don to jail. Don is in jail for about maybe a day. Maybe a day. But he's calling the house constantly. Hey man, hey, hey man, did they take anything? He's like, I don't, we don't know what they took. Right. We don't know what they took. Let's go look in the closet and see if they duffel bag in there. Go in the closet. I was like, I don't see no duffel bag. Fuck, they took the duffel bag. Shit. So we look around. It's shit everywhere. Okay. Shit all over this goddamn place. I look. I see the black duffel bag. I was like, oh, shit. That's that duffel bag he must be talking about. Right. Open it up. It's a bag full of cash. Ooh. Police missed The police threw it. Threw the motherfucker out the way like it was just just discarded. It just threw it. So he called again. I said, hey, man, I got that bag. You got the bag? Yeah. They didn't take it. No. Oh, shit. Hey, nigga, I got you. I got you when I get out. I'm like, I'm 14 years old. I'm about, I'm about to be rich. If this nigga give me just half of what's in his bag. Right. Because the police would have had all of it. You can, I'm expecting at least half. Where they get to half, you got to give me half of it. But either way, I'm gonna be in a good position. I'm not right. tripping. Nigga came on, he came straight to the bag. Nigga grabbed the bag and just sat on the couch with that bag. He was like, oh my God. Cuz, nigga, I thought they took it. I'm like, yes, nigga, I thought they you took ready. it too. Nigga, I thought they took it too. Right, you are ready. He said, we go to the bathroom for a second, go to the bathroom, count it all. He said, it's all there. And then go in there and he peel off. It's, it's in bundles. Right. It's dirty money, but it's bundled up. Right. And nigga peel off two 20s. Nigga and hand them bitches to me. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Hold on, this motherfucker gave you 40. Listen, dollars. listen. Handed the motherfucker 40 to me underhanded. Like he handed it to me. <laughs> nigga, like this. When at first, I didn't think, I didn't want to grab it. Cause I'm like, 
Maybe you know how nigga be getting some loose shit right. out of you like hold this till yeah, I get the hold rest. Hold this till I get the rest. I get, I'm gonna get the rest right. of it and I'm gonna give it to you. Then I'm gonna be handing it to right there and then and then and put something in this pocket and zipped up that bag. And he said, Man, I sure appreciate it. I said, What's this for? Exactly. He said, Man, hey listen, I gotta do something real quick, but I'm, a, I'm a, I got you. Ah uh, shit! Now that's the classic line real where you know they finna fuck you. That's you was classic. just in jail. What do you mean you got to do something real quick? That's the classic fuck you line. You should be slowed all the fuck way down. What do you mean? Hold shit, on. Gave me he two. didn't even give you one that was wrapped up with a rubber band. This motherfucker peel two twenties. Yeah, it was some of them was in rubber. You should have told his ass, give me a quarter two. And he should have been like, for what? Because I'm going to call the police. Fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> and tell them they forgot something. Give me a quarter two. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is $40? $40 out there. 40 And I'm like, he done was like really hey, tight. Hold like, up, hold super up. Super tight. We going to get this motherfucker right now. No, you ain't. He in jail. You can't get him. We going to get, get him out? We going to get this motherfucker right now. <laughs> you going to get him out? And beat his ass <laughs> for that. <laughs> Cause he in that. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Now I'm gonna trip you out. You know I told you I was selling weed, mm -hmm. but I ain't never really been a weed smoker. Me and Shawty was living together at the time. Shawty, Shawty, comedian. Mm -hmm. He on the radio right now. Uh, and this female, she smoked, but I don't smoke. She said I'm coming over there. With some weed, I said, "Come on!" And at the time, that's when the hydroponic perp orange had just hit the scene. So I'm used to what people call now Reggie regular. That's yeah. so what I'm used to. I can shit. I can smoke the Reggie. Right. This motherfucker don't came over here with that shit. I don't even know it's the shit. Bro. She rolled up. I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Early in the morning. You know, early in the morning, sex, that's the best sex. Yes, it is. Shit, I'm like, shit, I'm finna get high and I'm finna beat this ass down. Shit. I'm thinking, Reggie, this motherfucker don't roll up some perp. Mm. And I'm hitting the shit like Reggie. Uh-uh. Shit, I don't got paranoid. Ooh. That shit hit me. She said, give me a t-shirt. I said, for what? <laughs> She said, I was gonna get comfortable. I said, why are you trying to get undressed? <laughs> I said, it's too early in the morning. Why are you over here this early anyway? And she was like, what the fuck? You tripping. And I was tripping, but I didn't realize I was tripping. Do you know I put out? I put out. Wild, and when I realized what the fuck I had did, this is the crazy shit. This is the absolute crazy shit. When I realized I'm hiding a motherfucker and I don't put the girl out that came over there to give me some early in the morning. I'm what time is it? It's like 8 in the morning. She dropped the kids off and came over, oh. smoked the blunt, and was going to get in the bed with me. And when I realized I don't put her out, you know, I'm still a little high, but I'm like, hold up. You tripping. <laughs> yeah, you That's tripping. That's when I realized you trip. But I had put her out by then, and I'm peeking out the block. <laughs> oh, she in the car shaking her head, and I was too, you know, that's when that man shit kick in. I'm like, I, I can't run back out there and get her because she be, be like, no, no, right. hell no. So I, I, I waited to about 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I called and I said, uh, I gotta talk to you about something. She said, what the fuck I already know. She said, you ain't never getting no motherfucking perk no more. I said, well, at least me and you know. I thought That's she was about to say you never gonna get no pussy no more. Oh no, she 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 knew it was the weed. She knew it was the weed. I mean, I I I'm like Thor now. I put the hammer down. You 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 now did you cut up in Germany or you you you, you played it safe in Germany? I, I played it safe. Good. I, I did play it safe. Good. I did have this girl from Kenya told me she can show me what a spill do, but I didn't take up on the offer. I, I, anybody that says some shit like to me, I'm taking you up on the offer. 
You said some wild shit. I met well, a girl from Ethiopia. Well, then. The only reason I didn't because I was married at the time. And if mm. I wouldn't have been married, then trust me, I would have found out what this spill do. <laughs> I met a girl from Ethiopia. And it was another comedian there. Man, look, I met a girl from Ethiopia there. I don't know what that girl's doing now. She was a model. And we had an amazing night. I, I, I made love to that woman. I took my time. That night? I did not rush shit. Okay. Made that woman feel amazing. And you know what happens when you make a woman feel like that. Oh, yeah. They never forget you. And they want to have it again. Right. Who the fuck want to ride a roller coaster once? And it was amazing. Okay. Roller coaster time. You want to have it again. So, this girl flies to the States. Now, I was just talking what they say Hollywood talk. Okay. Okay, like, hey, man, you going to be in L.A.? Hey, nigga, call me, nigga. We going to hook up. Right. You probably not going to hook up with them. But in the moment, you probably meant, I'm going to hook up with her. Right. Same thing with a female. I'm like, hey, listen, you ever come to the States, holler at me. Right. God damn it, me and you, we got some more. We got some, we got some business to finish. She was like, all right. This woman called me one night. It was three in the morning. I said, hello. She says, I'm here. I said, who is this? <laughs> It is your Ethiopian queen. I'm here. I said, where? She said, America. I said, where in America? Why? Where in America? She says, I'm in your country. I said, hey, America's a lot of shit. Right. It's where? a lot of shit. Where in America? Where are you? She says, I'm in the Atlanta, Georgia. I said, you in the Atlanta, Georgia. Where were you at? I'm in California. <laughs> I said, I'm in California. She says, yes. Can I see you tonight? Oh. I said, oh, you don't understand this geography. You <laughs> do not understand the geography that we're doing right now. No, she, no. I said, at last meet you in a spaceship. Right. You're not going to see me tonight. Not tonight. She says, I came all the way here for you. I said, really? She says, yes. She said, I can come to you tomorrow. I said, you're still not going to be able to do it. Not tomorrow. I said, how you what are you what are you doing? She said, I rented a car. I said, ma'am, you are not finna do you understand where I'm at? I'm over there. You over here. Right. We in two totally different places. She didn't understand. I said, look at the map of the United States. What well, did she know what a map was? Yeah, she knew what a map oh, was. She knew she ain't that goddamn bro. Okay. She knew what a map was. She looked at it and she was like, oh, you are far. I said, yeah, I'm far. She said, so I'm not going to see you? I said, unless you come to California, no. Right. She said, but I came all the way from here, here for you. She didn't understand. I know you came here for me. And you thought just because you made it to the States. Right. That, that secured everything. Ma'am, I got so much shit going on. What is your name again? <laughs> <laughs> what is your name, ma'am? Please tell me. I'm just I'm going to call you the Ethiopian queen. What's your government issue name? Right. And she just, she didn't get it. But that night was wild because I almost went to jail. Yeah. Hold up. I almost went to jail. Hold back up. Which night did you almost go The to night jail? before I left to come back to America. In Germany? Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I know this one. That girl, excuse me, was with another comedian. And she was hanging out with him. And when I walked up, she was like, hi, who's your friend? He seems fun. And I'm talking, I'm like, hey, I'm d -Lay. She was like, were you on the show tonight too? I was like, yeah, she didn't even go to the show. That woman didn't even go to the show. Okay. She saw me, she said, I said, hey man, let's do some drinks. You know me, I'm like, let's, hey, everybody drinks. You, let's get it. And she was like, yeah. So I was like, what are the waitress? We get the waitress, we get the drinks. And she was like, so where are you from? I'm from, from uh, you know, America. How this motherfucker shining out here, just you know, doing my American shit, right, doing your thing. Then she was like, "I'm partying with you tonight." I was like, "Okay, cool." My man was on the couch. She was like, "Hey, bitch, fuck you doing? Right, like you supposed to be with me? You with me? I'm partying with you." He looking like, "Uh, uh, right? Like, what is all this? Right? You don't you like need it? To get back over here." Right. You know, like, so I'm like, I know you ain't tripping. You know what I mean? We're in a club. There's women everywhere. Right. You know what I mean? Let, let the girl do her thing. Well, 
Night goes on. I said, all right. She was like, I'm going home. I'm going to leave with you tonight. I was like, oh, okay. She's very forward. Sound low for me. Cool. Yeah. So he's coming there to talk to me. Let me talk to you for a second. Go over. He's talking to her. And I see, the, I see this, this, this gestures right here. And I'm looking. I'm like, oh, he ain't taking his cut. Right. Right. He ain't taking his cut too well. Right. She can cut you, dog. Right. Hard knocks, bro. Right. Hey, bro, get your, get your playbook, man. Hey. Get your ass out of there. Yeah. No, not going to do it. She comes back. She was like, I'm ready to go. I was like, all right, cool. Let's get another drink. Get another drink. We Let's leave. Go. Bam. We get to the spot. We at my spot. We didn't finish doing our shit. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't made international love. Okay. She's sitting up in a, in a conference. Not a knock at the door. A strong ass military knock. Police out knock. I go look in the window. I was like, oh, it's my man. So I was like, what the hell? Like, he was like, hey, can I talk to a girl for a second? I'm like, nigga, about what? I just right. gotta say something to her real quick. All right, cool. Close the door. Hey, he wanna say something to you real quick. Come out to her. She got, she got like the coffin on. Right. He was like, Oh, so you that type of bitch. <laughs> She's like, so you that type of bitch, huh? Okay, so you just go get with my man like that. He talking like they had a two-year relationship. Right. That's what I'm saying. He talking like they had been together for a while. He was like, okay, that's what's up. So he reaches his hand through the door and mushes her. Like, mush. She was like, motherfucker. She swings like, hits his I think arm. I, listen. Now that you're telling me this story, I think I know who you're talking about. But, <laughs> yeah. but we, we, can't say we can't say it. We can't say it. We can't say it. We right. can't say We're it. We're going to leave names innocent. So I'm like, oh, so she's going off. She is losing. She's like, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. He's going to jail that motherfucker. He's gonna. And I was like, please calm down. Right. Please. Because I don't need this drama. Here. I'm American. Right. I don't need this drama. I'm going to jail. I'm in here, you complaining. I'm going to jail, period. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. Plus, my flight is in the morning. Exactly. Let me get on my goddamn flight and get the hell up out of here. Yeah. Man. Then tell on him. Man, then tell on him. Let me then, get on the flight first. So that's why I had to tell her to come to the States. That's why I was selling that hard. Like, hey, man, you come to say this is going to be me. We gonna, you know what right. I mean? I got to say what I got to say to get out of this goddamn jam. Right. Calmed her down. Relaxed. And she came to them states and she was like, I am here. I'm like, where? But yeah, Germany was... was no, no. And, and I feel you all the way. And and this is a per, uh, public service announcement to all you guys out here. If you meet a girl and she chooses someone else that you know... <laughs> That you are around. It's worldwide late, god damn it. Right. I mean, don't get mad. The fuck? What you mad about? She wasn't feeling your swag. Just wasn't feeling your shit. <laughs> I, but, listen. Give him that PSA. You was, you was doing good. No, I'm, I'm because, just, though, actually, young folks need to hear this. No. You're right. This is strictly if she going for the young and, folks. And you're not feeling you. If you go to the club and you buy a girl a drink if and. You would live around no, no, the world. Money. In the well, middle, you. we film it. In the middle of filming, Marlo just oh, walked. I'm in. Sorry. Like, in the middle of filming, Marlo walked in talking about gas money. <laughs> what is going on in the community? I know it. The PSA. This is very I important. This far to 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 eighty five. You know, it's a long way. Outside. Everybody, everybody talk about it. They talk about but, it. I mean, young guys, listen. There's a lot of fish in the sea. Come on now. A lot of fish in the sea. So, uh, you know, if you matter of fact, this is the best way for me to describe when you after a girl and you don't catch her. You know how them fishermen sometimes they be wrestling with them fish and they'll have the fish and they be reeling them in. And just when they think they got me like, damn, the fish got off the line. Right. Consider it like that. Fish don't want to be caught by you. Mm. But it's going to get caught. It's just not by you. That was some uncle ass advice that you just gave. Uncle. That shit was so unclish. It was that motherfucker was and it was great. 
Because see, it was a wise fucking with some wise well, information you just gave. These, these young guys feel like it, hey, if I buy a girl a drink, if I start talking to her, then she your lady. But no, I mean you gotta let ladies kind of choose what dick they want running up in them. Wow, I never look. Well, I have looked at it like that. You gotta let the ladies choose. But look, I met a girl. Stayed. I was doing Marvin room in Miami. Oh yes, you remember the improv? Yes. Okay. I met this girl, and I want to say she was from Jamaica, and I was feeling her. Right. I mean, straight up delay, I was feeling her. We was vibing. She came back to the room. Like you say, I made love to her that night, like, because, oh. I mean, I was just vibing with her. Yeah. I said, look. You owed her that good sex. I said, look, I want you to come to Atlanta. You in love for that night. Well, not only that night, but I was digging her. I said, come to Atlanta. Matter of fact, I'm going to fly you to Atlanta. She said, okay. I fly this mug back to Atlanta. And I mean, it wasn't just the sex. Because, I mean, you ain't going to just fly a woman in just for sex. Right, right. I mean, I used to. Hold on. Wait a minute. Stop. I, I, almost, I almost jumped on the bandwagon. I used to fly women in specifically for sex. I won't talk to you. I don't want to have dinner with you. This is a fuck fest. This is all this is going to be. Fuck flight. Yeah. It's a fuck flight. That's right. It's a double F. However, that now, hey. now, now, frame mind is, no, I'm not flying now. Just the fuck. God damn. Well, I mean, I can't now. I got a lady. But I mean, if I were. But I'm just saying, God damn, that must be some, I'm trying to think if I ever, had something that good made me want to fly in town. Oh, gosh. You had never had flying coochie. I mean, I've had... Like you see it this week, the next weekend, you're there. I mean, I've had some good stuff, but I've always thought about my dollar first. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know. So you've never flown out for coochie? Oh, me? Yes. Oh, yeah, I've flown out. But I've never flown in. you never flown in? Yeah. You've never flown in? Well, the only reason I flown out because I had the buddy pass. Oh, you could do it on your diet. Yeah, I was cheap dick. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, discount yeah. dick. Discount. Yeah, there you, you go. Discount. discount double check. Yes. There you go. That's what that is. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Because I was like, shit, let me see. 200 to fly you in, $57 to fly there. I think I'm going to fly there. Yeah, it was that type of deal. But did you, are you staying with her? It didn't matter. I mean, I had a little hotel hookup too, so I mean. See, I'm different. T, yeah. I never stay with the girls. I never would do that. Yeah, I get off too. I, I, because let me tell you why. Because I'm the hot commodity in this motherfucking house. I don't give a what how expensive this fucking house is. This exactly. furniture. I'm the most expensive thing in this motherfucker. Exactly. And I don't know the entryways. I don't know this house. I don't know my surroundings well enough to be comfortable to be there. You know what I mean? So it's nice and as eloquent as a house may be, I'm not going to be comfortable because I'm not in control. No, I feel you. Then. You know what I mean? I've been in this situation. Like, I was with this chick. She like, come over to my house. It's cool. And I mean, you know. I've, I've done it before, no. but I can't stay there. Yeah, I was skeptical. I wasn't going to spend the night, but I was still skeptical. Because, you know, I mean, you know, when we pull up, she's looking around, and I'm like, you okay? And she's like, yeah, everything cool. I'm talking about maybe 30 minutes. I'm over there. We chilling. And we here. Oh, shit. And I'm like, uh, were you expecting somebody? She and she, and of course, women don't understand this. Uh, that's that stupid motherfucker. And I'm like, well, hold up. If he a stupid motherfucker, you should have told me you was dealing with a stupid. I thought you told me you was broke up. And the bitch told me, well, we broke up yesterday. I'm like, man. Yesterday? Know, you got my life in danger. It's, it's too early to have right. company. You got my life. You should have came to the room. Matter of fact, when we pulled up to your house, you should have been like, look. Okay, I'm going to leave my car here. Run to my car. Jump in that motherfucker and tell me. Hit the gas. <laughs> and I'm like, why we speed? Trust me, if you want this pussy, do a couple of turns, dip, and go to your room. 
but this motherfucker got me up in the motherfucking house, and I'm like, wait a minute. It's a house or an apartment? No, a fucking house. I guess she was renting, and and she like, I guess she was renting. I I mean, I figured she wasn't the owner. (laughs) And she talking about you gonna have to hide in the closet. And I mean, I'm like, no, I ain't finna hide no motherfucking gloves. She like, this motherfucker crazy. Now I'm looking at her like, why you fucking with a crazy motherfucker? Now you got both our life in danger. And this motherfucker beating on the door, talking about bitch, open the door, who you got in there? Yeah. And I guess it was God that came in the situation. Right. This what happened. The dude beating on the door. Bitch, open the door. I know you got somebody in there. I told the motherfucker, I said, open the door. She said, what? I said, open the door. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand right here by the door. And let me tell you how stupid motherfuckers is. Now, don't open this way. So I stood right here by the door. You on the opening side or the closing side where he can't uh-uh, see you? Right, I'm on the, on the side. <laughs> okay. So when the motherfucker bust in the door, he make a beat line. Straight to the room. Straight to the room. I walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> he never see me. <laughs> and she say, motherfucker, I told you wasn't nobody in <laughs> So I go, listen, I go, and this this lets you know how when a motherfucker wants a pussy, he wants the pussy. I didn't even leave. I went and dipped down in my car. And for 10 minutes, I seen this motherfucker flicking on lights, going through clubs and shit. And I guess when he realized, ain't nobody in this motherfucker. Damn. He got in his car and he left. No. And I made sure that I seen them headlights get real small. <laughs> and I knocked back on the door. Oh, she no. Said, Who is it? No. No, 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 no. I didn't make the mistake. I said, you coming with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to get it. But I took it to the room. Be like, true story. True story. Pussy is powerful. The f- boy, I thought you was going back up in there oh, to no. try to fuck that woman. No, that have been dumb. Man, but guys have done some weird shit. Yeah, well, those guys probably end up on the news. <laughs> because something might have told him, you know what? And and who knows? He might have left something and been like, shit, you know I left something. And, mm-hmm. and double back to pick up what he left. And right. now you got Ooh. caught in the shit. Right. So I was like, no, nah, you coming with me. And if he get back there and she ain't there, then, you know, that's on him and her. Now, you married now? I was married. I'm oh, you were married? Yes. Oh, really? I'm divorced. How long? Three years. Are y'all still cool? Yeah, we cool. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, me and my we, ex are cool, too. Yeah, we, 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 we cool. Me and my ex still cool, too. Um, I always, um, I look at guys that, you know, that started comedy before me. And look at their careers and see how funny they are. And I always want to introduce them to my audience. Okay. You know what I mean? So my audience can see maybe we've never, even if they haven't heard of it before, they trust me that I'm bringing somebody on my platform that's funny. And bruh, I will watch you kill. Kill. We came to LA. You came to LA. I'm going to let you introduce that story uh, of us hanging out in LA. And you came to LA. Hmm. Now, nah. hold on a second, y'all. Marlo is in the building, and she and this motherfucker running the muck. You hear me? <laughs> she got motherfucking old school ringtones going off, walking through the set, talking about gas prices, talking about how far it is to get out here. Marlo just in here to my, to my, I took a nap and I, all kind of old shit, all kind of whisper type shit, temptation type shit. So, if you hear the background chatter, that's. Who that is, she'll be on the next episode. Go I, ahead. And, and, no, no. The, the piggyback on what you said, I, I heard Marlo say, this motherfucker say he's staying in Atlanta. This ain't no motherfucking Atlanta. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck this is, but the damn show ain't Atlanta. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, it's sort of Atlanta. Sort of Atlanta. Sort of Atlanta. Okay, so we're kicking it in L.A. Oh, man, we're kicking it in L.A. And I mean, the vibe is just... 
let me tell y'all about LA. And I mean, we knew comedians to the scene. I maybe have maybe a couple of years into it, but I'm still a new comedian. We meet celebrities and people treating us like stars. And this is, I think, well, I don't think, I know. I can go and say it now. But this is where I made my Achilles heel. I brought my wife. Wow, did you hear what he said, guys? Achilles heel. I brought my wife to the show. Shout out to the last leg tour coming to the city new year. Uh -huh. Delay the last leg tour. This is real shit. And no knock on her, but you got to get a woman who understands, uh, it's a bigger mission and a bigger picture. And this is the real shit. Real shit, no cut, no nothing. Bill was like, what's up, the keys? Tommy, what's up, the keys? Rodney Perry, what's up, the keys? You know, because they got a chance to know us because we don't film with them a couple of times. So a couple of film people like, hey. This one particular female, she was like, oh, I can't wait to see you again. You so funny. And it's like my wife beamed in on her like, who is who this is bitch right. Right. that you fucking? And I'm like, if I was fucking somebody on who's got jokes, I wouldn't have brought you. And she argued and fussed with me until it was time for me to go on stage. And what's crazy about that is if I was fucking somebody on who's got jokes, I would have still brought my woman. I would have brought her. You know why? Because that fucking on Who's Got Jokes ain't got nothing to do with us. That was Who's Got Jokes fucking. Right. This is our shit. Don't well, conflate the two. Hey, well, Ray Charles said it best. Come on now. When, when Marjorie say, God damn it, I'm your wife on the road. He said, well, God damn it, bitch, that's on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be calling my motherfucking house. I'm at my regular house. With doing my regular life with my regular kids, we ain't on the road. So Marjorie, Marjorie had to understand. Yeah, I'm your wife on the road, but goddamn it, when we ain't on the road, goddamn it, guess what? I don't need you calling my motherfucking house. Hey man, let me tell you something. I like your old schoolness that you bring to it. Yes, you bring an old school flavor to it. It remind me of a couple of my uncles as well. Now let me let me ask you this. I always ask comedians about a time on the road where they had an experience with somebody where they didn't want to pay or it was a discrepancy with uh, the pay. What's your what's your experience with that? Okay. Um do you remember Magnum? Down in Florida? Okay. This is my road experience and of not getting paid, but I mean, in some form or fashion, I'm glad, but then I kind of regret it too. All right, let me describe Magnum first. A lot of comedians know Magnum. Magnum was about 6'4", husky, big dude. And man, Magnum never had any problems. He had me come down to Hollywood, Florida. He said, hey, man, I got, uh, I think it was like four nights. This is not Coconut Grove. Not Coconut Grove. Hollywood, gotcha. Florida. Gotcha. He said, man, I got about four nights for you. I said, cool. So he flew me down. I'm in my room and everything. The first night, and I knew shit was shady, but the first night wasn't working out right. What kind of crowd you got? Well, they still trying to set shit up. <laughs> 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 On the first night of the show. <laughs> So they still trying to set shit up as you there? Listen. So I'm like, I don't know about this. So I say, hey, Magnum, let me get a deposit on my money. He say, well, man, let me go talk to the club owner. And I don't have no dealings with the club owner because i just been talking to Magnum. So Magnum come back and say, hey, man, I'm going to pay you tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I ain't never had no problem with Magnum, but I'm feeling some type of way. Is so your first I time asking for a deposit? Well, no, it wasn't the first time, but I mean, I don't deal with Mag Magnum before, so I'm like, I, I give him the Is penalty. the money good? Normally. Normally the money good. So I said, okay. Go to second night. We don't have a packed show. And I'm like, well, Magnum, what kind of advertising did you do? And he's like, look, man. 
let me go talk to the club owner. We're going to see about uh, trying to get you some money. I said, okay. So he come back and he said, look, we might have some money for you the next night. And I said, no, wait a minute, man. First night I bought that shit, but the night I ain't buying it. I said, you're going to have to come up with something. You doing four nights? I'm there four nights. Got gotcha. you. This second night. I said, man, you're going to have to come up with something. So, you know, he like, hey, man, you know, shit, it is what it is. And I mean, you know, my mentality, I'm like, no, it ain't what it is. What it is, I'm here. I came down here to tell jokes. I can't predict what kind of crowds you had because I don't know what kind of advertising you did. Now, pause. If you want to hear the rest of that story, you may want to go over to Patreon right now because that's where you're going to find the remainder of that story. Go on over to Patreon. Shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I'm rocking with y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. But the rest of that story, that motherfucker on Patreon. There it is. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been another fabulous episode of the Delay Show. Man, with my good friend. <laughs> The keys, hey bro, I love you, man. Love you hang too, around, man. bro. I want you to hang around. Yes, sir. And we're gonna chop it up for some afterwards, man. Yes, sir. This has been the delay show, man. You guys have been simply honest. I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. yeah.